Hey guys, uh, John here again. Uh, I'm going to give you guys a walkthrough this time around of my uh, dual screen monitor setup and show you guys how to do it and explain to you uh, what some of the cool features are. Uh, pretty simple. One thing to notice, I'm obviously using a MacBook Pro to do this with a DVI port. You can do exactly the same thing with a MacBook um, that has a mini DVI port. So to do this, all you need is a mini DVI to DVI adapter. I think it's something like 20 bucks from uh, the Apple Store. So uh, pretty inexpensive to do this with um, a MacBook also. Uh, one other thing, guys, if you want to check out some other uh, cool reviews, uh, one of the guys who frequently posts on my, uh, my main page, his name is Echo Fish. That's uh, E-C-K-O-F-I-S-H. He's in my uh, subscriptions. Has uh, some great videos also. He's um, just starting up and needs your support. And uh, he's great with answering questions, too. If, if, if I don't know something, you can ask him or post it over there and... Between the two of us, one of us should be able to uh, get your questions answered. So anyway, anyway, guys, enjoy. Um, any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching, and uh, thank you guys for subscribing. Bye. All right, guys, let's get started. Um, hopefully you can see the screens here. I can't really zoom in anymore with my camera and get them uh, both in the picture, but we'll make do with what we got. Uh, first thing, I've got the Mac plugged into the monitor with uh, standard DVI cable, which is on the right side of the MacBook Pro, uh, right here. No adapter or anything necessary, just plugged it in, plugged it in the back of the monitor. Um, and one cool thing, the monitor came with a whole bunch of drivers for Windows and this and that. I just plugged it in with the Mac and it recognized it immediately, which was very cool. Um, so once you get your monitor plugged in, you have a couple different options. If you go down to System Preferences and click on Displays, pulls up a whole bunch of different options now. If you look here, I've got a main option here with display or any in color. And on the other monitor, it pulls up uh, resolution. So it actually knows already that you have two monitors and pulls up settings for each on, uh, on separate screens, which is very cool. So resolutions for one, color for one, and color for the other. It's uh, independent. So on display, you can set the resolution of your monitor. This one here is 1680 by 1050. It automatically recognizes that. And then you click on Arrangement, and here's where you can select which monitor you want to be your primary. Um, so you have two pictures, you can drag them anywhere you want to make it the way you want it to look. And this little white bar across the top is this main toolbar, or if you drag that, is your main monitor. So you can move it uh, either way. And you also have an option to, um, to mirror the images as well. So have the same thing shown on both. So that's how you get your dual monitors working, and now I have it set up pretty much as one giant monitor. So if you look, I can move that over, um, and uh, it's being treated now as just one um, big monitor, which is very nice. It's great for things like um, you know browsing the web or doing some programming and opening up iTunes, for example. Um, you know, I can have iTunes open and playing right here. Open it up here. Um, open and playing while I am, you know, doing something else, and still be able to see uh, the whole window, which is really nice. But I've recently discovered the world of uh, world of torrents and such, um, so I've been using Parallels a little bit more because I don't want to take a chance damaging or getting a virus on the Mac, which I know it's next to impossible to do, but I didn't want to risk it. So this setup is actually very cool for Parallels. Uh, something I want to show you. So I'll open up. Parallels and this will only work with virtualization software. Um, it won't. You just won't be able to do this with uh, with bootcamp. So let me turn it on for you and show you guys something that I think is pretty cool. Give it a second to load. It's still strange seeing Windows XP on a Mac, but you know it works. Um, by the way, if anybody's in the market for a monitor, I picked up the 22-inch HP W2207. It's a glossy widescreen monitor, and it's awesome. I really like it. Uh, it's got two USB ports, which are really handy. So, something if you guys are in the market. All right, so now I've got Parallels up and running. If I move Parallels over to my secondary window, uh, right here, and I make it full screen, by hitting Alt-Enter, a little rotation. Now I've got Windows full screen here, and my OS X full screen. So I can use them both at the same time and have two full screens, which is really cool. I mean, it's like having two separate computers running at once. 
Um, even though this is full screen, I can still use that window if I need. I can still drag stuff over if necessary. Um, but it makes life a lot easier for uh, for doing anything you need to do in in um, Windows, whether it's torrents or uh, Microsoft Office or anything you're doing. It's just uh, it's very handy. Anyway, this has been a kind of a real quick overview of the uh, dual monitor setup on the Mac. And honestly, guys, to set this whole thing up took three minutes, and most of that was plugging it in to uh, the outlet. Uh, Macintosh and Apple in particular makes it really easy to do. Um, you know, I, I was shocked with my uh, PC. It took forever to get things um, set up. So anyway, guys, that's, uh, that's dual monitor. Like I said, kind of in conclusion, you can set it up to be two separate um, two separate monitors, you know, to use independently, um, which is kind of like what I have now. Um, have it treat as one big monitor, uh, if you like, or have it be mirrored and show the same image. Now also now with, let me close um, parallels here for you guys. I know some people want might want to use their computer in clamshell mode and still, um, still use the monitor. So that's something I will show you guys here. Let me just quit out of parallels. Shut down. Turn off. And um, with two monitors, you can also use it in clamshell mode, meaning keep your laptop closed and use your external display as your uh, primary and only monitor. It's something that you can you can do and do it very easily. I am going to show you how to do that right now. Quit parallels. So all you do: take your computer, close it, turn it on like normal, close it up. It's going to go to sleep um, like it normally would. Give me a second. Alright, so the computer is essentially asleep now, which means to turn the monitor off. The monitor is going to sleep, as you can see. So to wake it up, actually, you can just push a button, um, any button on uh, the keyboard. Give it a second, it'll wake up. Now it'll calibrate with the monitor. And there you go. Now I've got my computer working in clamshell mode with uh, only one monitor. Uh, nice and easy. So there's another another option for you guys. Um, with the computer closed, it doesn't get any hotter than it did with it open like normal. It still stays at a pretty similar temperature of about 140 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know what that is for Celsius for you uh, European folk and Canadian. Um, but it stays at the same temperature. So anyway guys, it's just a real quick overview of the monitors, dual monitor system. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, thanks for uh, watching. Thanks for uh, subscribing, and uh, hope you have a good afternoon, night, or evening. This is John Four Lakers, signing off.